boom, boom, boom. Get on. Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, in today's video, we're going to give you 14 things not to pack on your next Carnival Cruise. Listen, if I have heard it or seen it once, I have heard it and seen it twice. What we don't want you to do is end up at the naughty room. There is a naughty room on yes, a cruise. Indeed. We don't want your stuff being confiscated. And then we don't want you being banned from the cruise line for bringing prohibited items. If you want to hear about what those items are, keep on watching. We got you. The first thing not to bring on a carnival cruise is this should be without me even saying, but come on now. Right. Weapons. And I'm talking about the pew pew, the pop pops, all of those. You right. cannot bring them on a cruise. And I have a story for you in a few minutes. Knives, open blades, things like that are things that can be deemed as weapons. You do not want to bring those on your carnival cruise. These are one of the things that can get you banned for life. And Life. even arrested if right. they want to take it that far. <laughs> Listen, there has been, and this is October 3rd, 2024. So I want to date this video by saying there's a story that just came out yesterday or the day before of a Carnival Cruise passenger that showed her pew pew in her safe while on said Carnival Cruise. Wow. She was upset because they took other things her hot sausages and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> but they did not take the pew pew, pew pew that was in her check luggage. But just let you know, even though she got by, which is scary that she got by. Yeah, it is. That if you are going to bring something like that, that is arrest and banned. No questions asked. And that make me question the security scanner. Like, yes. you pick up, you pick up my laptop. Everything you, you your pick up, you pick up when I bring up my a bottle too big of my beard dye. Yes, they did do that. <laughs> Mouthwashes, all the other stuff y'all pick up, but you don't pick but up you a whole pick pew, up pew, the whole pew, pew. Oh man, come on now, carnival. You pick up the bullets, but you don't pick up a pew pew. Yeah. Next thing to not bring on your carnival cruise. <laughs> The second item you do not want to bring on your carnival cruise is hard liquor and beer. We done said this countless times. We done yeah. seen so many people get on the cruise and they done took their liquor or they tried to do the infamous rum runners. The they, wine they, trick. Yep, the wine trick. So if they find any of that stuff, they will confiscate it. But here is the big one. It's not a new one, but it's not. More, more, uh, one of the newer ones, but not new, mm -hmm. is wine. We can bring one wine per person up to 750 milliliters, but if that wine is 50, over 15 ABV alcohol, was it alcohol above value, something like that alcohol <laughs> value? Above 15%. Above 15%. <laughs> They are going to take that from you. So all of my Taylor Port drinkers, man. Yeah, they don't, took, they don't took our wine from us, man. Because we don't know how to act. But I will say there has been a hit and miss in that policy. It just depends on the yeah. port worker whether or not they really want to be rigid about it right. or not. We have gone through the scanners and they and literally I'm will just not even take ours out and look at it. There's been some that I have had wine that was really low percentage wine that have been. Yep. And I'm like, what you what you looking at? <laughs> yep. And we've even been in ports with the thing where you can um seal the bottle, reseal the bottles back up. Mm -hmm. They was in there taking the knives and going like this yes. on the top to make sure you didn't reseal it. Mm -hmm. So they they up in their game to make sure they that are. you won't sneak that in there. They want to make every dime off of you that they can get off of you, man. <laughs> hey. It's part of the game. The third thing that you don't want to bring on your next carnival cruise. I, 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 yeah. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear the excuses. <laughs> I don't want you to say I did it before. I'm going to do it again. You just might end up in the jailhouse. I, I, uh, or banned for life. Or banned for life. Your puff puff gives. <laughs> your, your, how else you do it with the, with the, with the bone? How you do it it's not allowed i don't care if you have a medical mj card it yeah, doesn't matter doesn't matter doesn't matter if it's legal in your state none nope. of that matters because maritime law says uh -uh. you're not bringing that on board 
no CBD products. Yep. I know. We talk about the gummies. We talk about everything else. We talk about the drops of tension. All of that. None of it. None of it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care if you have a prescription from your doctor's office. They say they don't want none of that narcotic. None of those narcotics. <laughs> On the cruise ship. And... Uh, since people have been getting very clever with mm -hmm. getting it by security and the dogs, yeah. what they started doing now is once you get on the cruise and you all comfortable and you jamming and you dancing and you you sneak off in the corner to get take you a hit, them, the they, they got the dogs still roaming the halls of down the cabin halls. Sometimes they'd be on the Lido deck. Sometimes yes. they'd be up in the atrium. So. They are cracking down hard on you bring it, especially the weed. Yes. Yeah, especially the weed. They cracking down hard on that. Now, people still get it through. Yeah, they I do. will admit that. But it's way better than it used to be back in the day. Like, yeah. you you get a whiff of it every now and then. You know, for y'all that like to smoke, if you smell it, just take a great inhale. Shoot, See we if you can get some second hand. But other than that, and also, so we get this question a lot when it comes to when we talk about the Puff Puff Give, CBD, and all of that. Can I bring my vape pen? The vape pen is fine. It just depends on what's in the vape pen. So we're, you can't do no THC in the vape pen, no CBD. So the best thing that you can do when you bring your CBD in, if you just want to do like a flavoring, you can do that. If you want to do it with the um, nicotine, you can bring that. But as long as it's free of the CBD and THC, you're, you're fine. Indeed. And that leads us to number four thing not to pack on a carnival cruise is your hookah. <laughs> now, I know some of us love to go to the lounge on the weekends and we, we drinking our liquor, smoking our cigars and puffing on our hookah. Yep. Uh, I am real upset about that because I it makes love, no sense. I like smoking hookah. I wish that the cruise lines would set up a space where just like where you can go smoke cigarettes and cigars. Because it's vapes, no different. Set up a spot where, you know, it's controlled, where, where we can smoke hookah, man, out at sea. So any cruise line that's listening right here, if you want to up your game, hookah. Yeah. Hookah will bring more people on that cruise. It will. Yeah, it will. And we do know that they have individualized hookahs that you can bring that looks like the size of a tumbler cup. Yeah. Can't they are not it. allowed. Not allowed. The fifth thing that you don't want to bring, again, I feel that y'all want to fight me. I, I yeah. feel it. Oh, you done been fought before on it. I have been. Family done fought you on this one. All right. <laughs> Let me take my earrings off real quick. <laughs> Let me take my earrings off. Yeah, this one right here. For the ones put that you in the chokehold, boy. With a Vaseline at. I don't have it. I got some car mix over here if y'all y'all ready to square up. Ooh. Leave your iron at home. And your steamer. And your steamer. Yeah, can't but, bring it. But emphasis on the iron, because I know as people of color in particular, we like stuff crispy. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're over the age of 50, this is so dear to your heart. Yes, indeed. Because baby, every time... <laughs> I have to get my family together for a freaking cruise. I promise you, you would think I told them that I ain't going to church no more. When I tell them, you can't bring their arm. <laughs> I don't understand why. I, 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 and I'm not going to do wrinkle release. It doesn't get my stuff. Listen, here, here's the thing. Not all cruise ships have laundry um, rooms where you can, right. you know, iron your own clothes. But if they don't have it, you can go and just give your stuff to your cabin attendant, send it down, and have it pressed. Will it cost you? Absolutely. Yes. But it's a reasonable cost yeah, for you to get your stuff ironed for the rest of the week. I think one time we sent our entire thing of luggage, the both of us, to get things um, steamed and pressed. On a previous cruise, that's exactly what we had to do. We had to send our stuff down to get it pressed. Did we have a laundry facility on our ship? Yep. Did we yep. feel like going? No. No. I like things easy on vacation. Yeah. So I don't like you. I don't like waiting in the line because you go down and somebody there, you have the to other way. waiting for everybody that's there to finish before you can honor. We should know a little bit about this next one. <laughs> All right, number six. <laughs> what you should not pack. And this one you want to proceed with caution on this one. So if you are not in the lifestyle, so if you know about that, mm -hmm. or if you know about swinging, threesomes, hooking up with somebody else's spouse, hooking up with somebody else's boyfriend or girlfriend, do not 
pack anything with pink flamingos. Yes. Don't pack anything with upside down pineapples on it. And we just recently learned, that was today, because I went on and I looked up to see if they done changed the game on us. And they did a little bit. And I'm not I'm not saying that they changed the game, but I didn't know this one, that black rings on your right hand is a sign that, that you read it. That you read it. Or you play well with others. So you will see that as well. You see that on tumblers. You see that on t-shirts. You will see that on hats. <laughs> So if you ain't about that life, don't pack any of that stuff. What happened? See, I got a black, <laughs> I got a black ring. So on our last cruise, we actually got approached, we got and approached we was hard. trying to figure out why we got approached because we didn't have on any of that attire. And then just when we was recording this video, I looked at my ring and I was like, wait a minute, baby, I got a black ring on. Say, your it's not on my right hand, but I wonder if that, couple, if that couple perceived that, hey, maybe they play well with others. He got that black ring on. I said, like, baby, if it happens again, we got to go ring shopping again. So, so family, yeah, yeah. I, I might have I might have to switch it up and get me a gold ring. Give me go, go back to the gold. Got to go back. You just went to the black. Yep, just went to the black. I just bought him that black ring like three months ago. If you are in the process of booking a cruise and you overwhelmed and you stressed out in this process, it can't you be. need a travel agent. So if you need help with that, please click the link below and the queen will definitely help you with this trip so you can be stress-free and cruise like a pro. Uh -huh. Hello. <laughs> All right. The seventh thing that you do not want to bring on your next carnival cruise is a pair of handcuffs. Yeah, man. I know. When we go yeah. on vacation, all all bets are off. Like you, uh -huh. you get really adventurous. Things happen. You know, you want to do a little role play or whatever, but you can't bring the handcuffs because what they're going to perceive it as is that maybe you going to be one of them crazy people that want to pick up and hostage somebody, yeah. put them in a hostage <laughs> situation. But I I already told y'all if y'all OGs to the channel, we already told you how to get around that. Yeah, man. If being in bondage is your kink, then all you need to do, come closer. All you need to do is this is what I heard. I don't know. I don't know this for sure, but I heard what you do is you go to Walmart and you know those <laughs> eggs, those little eggs that are over there in um <laughs> in the intimate section. You get you a pair of the pantyhose or a pair of the <clears throat> knee highs that are in the egg. I, they, I think they're like 99 cents now. Right. You get those. <laughs> Doesn't matter what color because it's taking the place of your handcuffs. So whenever you want to get a little kinky, you just, you know, get your partner to put you in a little knot. But don't do this if you don't have this with you. So go to the, to the, to the beauty supply store. Get you an eyebrow razor. You can bring that on board. That's going to be your key to get out. <laughs> Of the pantyhose or the knee high. Ooh. Don't ever tell anybody I ain't taught you nothing. And to add to that, <laughs> you cannot bring any type of restraint devices. None and, of it. So anything where you can't move your arms, your legs, your knees, you can't bring any of that stuff they, on a carnival cruise. They cop blocking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just destroy all of your intimate time. <laughs> They're like, keep that skit at home. <laughs> yeah. But patty holes, knee oh, yeah. highs. You can get away with that. You can get away with that. You gotta be, you gotta be creative. <laughs> <laughs> the eighth thing that you do not want to pack on a carnival cruise, and that is large speakers. Now, mm -hmm. us, we love to bring our speaker on our cruise. We have all we, sizes. <laughs> we love having our music in our room. Um, we love bringing the music, so we like out by the pool, sitting in the chairs, and mm -hmm. the music ain't right on the cruise. We love to play our music, but they have made some changes. So now you can only pay, play your speakers inside your room, but if you out on, in what would we say, in general pop, you have to put on earphones. Yeah. You cannot be playing it out, which sucks. Because you don't want to be disruptive to yeah, other enough, people. Disruptive to the other people. Now, see us... We make sure that the people that we around want to listen to, to what, what we are listening, what we listening to. to. So if we are out there, we will make sure we pro the music down real low so just only me and the queen can hear it. But so if that's we feel like hat. they're interested, we'll crank it up we'll, a little bit. Yeah, we'll turn it up a little and bit. And then it's, it's for everybody at that point. Yep. So please don't bring no big speakers because they will take them from you. And then you will have to 
at the end of the cruise, if you see any of those videos, that table on the outside, oh my gosh, that have coffee makers, steamers, uh, steamers, wash iron, machines, wash, yep. <laughs> like people bring the wildest things. I'm like, you going on vacation, dog? You ain't you ain't fit to move on the ship. You just going to be on it for about a week and coming home. But you want to bring the whole goddamn house, literally, the whole goddamn house. Literally. So yeah, make sure your, your speakers are small and we'll link um, some of our speakers that we use, that we take, that they work perfect, that will been confiscated. Yes. Um, that'll be linked down in the description below. And we also have a new one that we have brought out to the people is a speaker watch. So yes. if you really want to go under the radar, that's the way to go. Yeah, and we'll link that down below as well. The ninth thing that you want to leave at home, not because it's not allowed, but because it is provided. Yes. So this one right here, Imagine packing two of these in your luggage and know why we're emphasizing. Yeah. Leave them at home. Beach tiles. Yeah. You don't have to bring them. They take up so much Whole space, lot of space. Yeah. in your <laughs> luggage that I gladly leave yeah. those behind. Back in the day, I used to pack them because like, mm -hmm. oh, I don't know who used them. And da -da. I want then my you, own fresh tile from then home. You, you quickly get over yourself. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm like, if we're using the towels that they have all week long that they have provided for us, what's the difference between the beach towels? So you quickly get over your own little uh, things, but don't bring them. Beach towels are also in your cabin. So if you have mm -hmm. two people in your cabin, there's going to be two, three, you know, you get the drift. So as long as you use those and bring them back to your cabin, you're fine. But do not take those ones out of your cabin and just leave them somewhere because right. your cabin attendant is going to take them as taken and gonna report them as charge you all for it. Yep, and they about $25, $30 a piece. A piece. Yeah. Your family of four, you quickly. Yeah. Don't mess up, dog. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this one is for those of you who love to have your house smelling good with candles and incense, which we are those ones. We are those like, people. Like, if you have not tried the mahogany tiki wood candle. It's not tiki wood, it's just teak. Just teak wood. Teak wood, yeah. <laughs> Um, from Bath and Body Works, I'm telling you, that candle smells amazing. Yeah. Which leads us to number 10. You cannot bring incense or candles with you, man, because those are a fire hazard. So if you yep. end up turning that over, you could end huh. up burning the ship down, man. So please leave all that home. But if you do like the nice candle light stuff, you can actually bring battery powered candles. And then also what we do to keep our cabin smelling real fresh, we bring Glade plugins, man. Mm -hmm. So you can do that if you want to keep your cabin smelling nice and oh, you can bring spray. the bat. Yeah, room, sp uh, room spray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, air spray. Or you just can bring the uh, candle lights, uh, battery powered candles, and you can have yourself a good time with that but no open flame, nothing open flame. Nothing. But you can bring a lighter. You can bring a lighter. You can bring a lighter. I, I felt like that was gonna be the next yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, you can bring a lighter. <laughs> yeah, but anything else open flame, you cannot bring it. Number 11, the thing not to bring on the cruise, not because you can't bring it, but because it's really gonna be one of those things like, if I'm not specific about my needs while I'm on a cruise, I can free up my space and my right. luggage by leaving it at home. Your hair dryer. A hair dryer is provided for you. Is it going to be the one that you use at home? Absolutely not. It's not going to be your sheet. It's not going to be your Revlon. It's not going to be your ceramics and all of those. Right. It's going to be probably a basic sunbeam. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to do its job. So if you're not specific and you're not one of those people that your dryer has to be this for your hair, just leave it at home. Number 12. You cannot bring surge protected power strips. They have to be nine surge protected. So make sure you don't bring those because they will definitely quickly confiscate them from you. Yes. I just actually learned today that Royal Caribbean actually is banning the, the surge protected blocks. The All block. together. Yeah, they banned us, which I don't understand why, but someone created a fire on board. They did. Yep. Uh, I, and so I hope I hope that Carnival don't ban them because 
those it's are a game changer. It's a game changer, but I can say like especially like the celebration. Yeah, they the have, new plenty, ships have yeah, plenty. plenty. The new shit have plenty of plugs, but if you're going on one of the older ones, you definitely gonna you need. You get out of luck. Yep. So we'll go ahead and link below what we bring to uh, our sur nine surge protected power cores, so we can help you out, so you can make sure you won't get That's your great. stuff confiscated because you bought the wrong one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. The thirteenth thing not to bring on your next carnival cruise satellite. Satellite discs, yeah. satellite routers, satellite phones, those things you cannot bring on board. And there has been a recent story about this, right? Because all of us, I'm not trying to be funny. Every time I have to pay for that internet mm -hmm. on board, I freaking cringe. Mm -hmm. I pay more for a week than I pay for my entire house for the month right. on, <laughs> on board. And I'm always trying to think of new ways of tricking the system so that we don't have to, you know, pay as high of a bill for being for being connected to the internet on board. Right. Someone figured it out about a couple of weeks ago. And there is a story of a guy that found a way to buy a Starlink disc and bring it on board. I've never seen what it looks like. Although I read the story, I did not watch the video, but he brought it on board and he was able with his disc um, login criteria to go right past the cruise lines internet and go right to the satellite I don't. <laughs> and use whatever he wanted, but he messed up and he recorded it. Oh, uh, that's that's what we mess up at. <laughs> and we do. That's what we mess up at. So he had found the bypass. He brought the freaking disc. And if you're somebody like me, I heard the disc was like five hundred to six hundred dollars. But if you travel as much as we do, oh yeah, that's, that's a heck of a savings. That's yeah. worth that's, it. Yeah, right. So he bought the disc, and they were like, <laughs> uh, no. So now, now they're gonna be looking for the disc. They're gonna be looking for disc. They're gonna Dang, be looking for bro. little routers because there is a way to do it through a. I don't think it's called a cruise ship router system, but there is a particular router that you can buy that will allow you to buy one package, but like kind of hotspot to the other devices. They're looking for those now too. Wow. So I don't want you yeah. to bring something like that, thinking that you're going to save money mm -hmm. and possibly get it confiscated and not return to you at the end, because I'm not sure if these things are going to be returned to you. All right, number 14 item that you should not pack ever, <laughs> and that is household goods. Now, I was actually watching uh, Life World Cruise, Alana. I know shout you, out to Alana. Yeah, shout out to Alana. I was watching um, her one of her videos on packing, and she was talking about a story where this uh, passenger had brought some home-baked goods that they wanted to share with their cabin stewardess, and the cabin steward was like, nah, I ain't, nah, I ain't, hey, I, your stuff, I ain't eating that stuff. And the person got offended. And their rebuttal was, since you don't want to eat my food, I'm going to lower my gratuities. Kind of messes which, that. Which I think that is so unfair because. Well, what I, makes uh, me think, what did you do to my food? Right. That now you're offended that I won't eat it. You're going to take away my gratuities. Yeah. So don't bring no household goods, not even for yourself. They won't even let you even do that. The only thing you can bring is snacks, and they have to be prepackaged snacks. Yeah, and so, known snacks. And known snacks. Yeah, yeah. They, ain't nothing that you just came up with last week and put in your own packages. No, <laughs> and y'all know what I'm talking about. You do know what you're talking about. <laughs> Don't no. Don't do it. So no house, no household goods can be brought on the ship. It's your turn. Wait, you got me messed up because I thought you was going to do number two. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ready? Uh-huh. I thought you was just going to go right into it. All right, I, I, I missed the... Uh, you missed uh, the cue? I missed the cue. Ivan, yeah. he missed the cue. Yeah, I missed the cue. But here we go. <clears throat> we know you know how to fix it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you have enjoyed this video, you want to check out this video on the screen. Nine rules that you have to follow with your luggage before you get on your next Carnival Cruise. And we're going to check you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>